Yes. One of the worst forms of child abuse. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it is one of the worst forms of child abuse. Mm -hmm. To file a false police report on Guam alleging domestic violence and child abuse. Yes. I get to Clallam County. I call Healthy Families of Clallam County wanting to know if they got the the uh, seven hours of parenting classes. Yes. That I was on probation. Oh, and that um, I thought they should know that the council's recommendation was reconciliation. Yeah. Now, it seems reasonable to me that um, since they put their emergency contact information on the actual documentation that was served on me on Guam, oh, that when I contacted them, there shouldn't have been the allegation of an attempt, yes, to contact the petitioner through a third party. <clears throat> now, what is very, very upsetting, yes, is you would go through this whole process of filling out the petition for dissolution, the summons, the confidential report and sealed envelope, the affidavit declaration regarding service member civil relief, yes, financial declaration, proposed parenting plan, child support worksheet, child support worksheet, child support worksheet. And then you would have me arrested at the same time as serving me. See, when you called the police on the 27th of May, yes, Officer LaRue, oh, and they said, well, sounds like he's trying to contact his wife. <clears throat> the problem was that I wasn't trying to contact my wife. I had contacted Healthy Families approximately May 4th of 2012, 20 days before that. Mm. Why is it such a child abuse? Yes, for you to go through the whole process of filling out all the necessary paperwork for dissolution of marriage. Yes. And then after having to go on to court on Friday, May 24th of 2012, yes, you decide to have me arrested on Sunday night, yes. Maybe it was a, was it a Thursday? Oh, <laughs> see, when you intentionally try to entrap somebody, yes, in a crime, and you say, well, what we're going to do, yes, we're going to go through all the state agencies, we're going to fill out all this paperwork about how your husband is a total jerk. Yes. And then what we're going to do is we'll get the judge to issue the summons. Uh-huh. And then we'll call the police and the police will arrest him uh, and serve him at the same moment as taking him to jail. Now let's look at it. May 24th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's uh, child abuse. Oh. Now... Uh, there was no legitimate, yes, reason for my arrest, oh, except for somebody had just filed for a disillusion of marriage mm -hmm, and wanted me to, wanted it to look like, yes, I was uh, abusive mm -hmm, as a, uh, a husband, yes. Now, May 24th of 2012 was a Thursday, yep. I was arrested on a Sunday, yes. Mm -hmm. Memorial Day was the 28th, mm -hmm. And as I was uh, arraigned on Tuesday, May 29th of 2012, yes. Now, we went through a big jury trial during the month of May, mm -hmm. the end of it, June and July, yes. But the court reissued, yes, a protection order on May 31st of 2012, uh-huh, the Thursday, yes, instead of a Friday, a family court day, pooch, one week after dissolution of marriage. Now, let's see. Mm -hmm. uh, the, exploration, the explanation was my wife filed for dissolution of marriage. Uh -huh. There was the allegation on the Friday the 4th of 2000, uh, May, Friday the 4th of 2012. Yes. That when I called Healthy Families of Clallam County to find out if they got the conditions of my probation, mm -hmm. the recommendation of reconciliation. Yes. And uh, that I had completed the uh, the necessary seven hours of parenting classes. Yes. They decided from the day that I called them through the next week. Yes. And the next week. Yeah. And the next week. And then three weeks later right now. Well, now we're having them arrested. <clears throat> now, you can appreciate this idea that innocent until proven guilty. Yes. 
But Commissioner ba Brent Baston hmm, said, well, he got arrested. He's guilty. <clears throat> Now, obviously, uh, you do have the knowledge that I was found not guilty. Yes. Of my public defender at that time. Yes. He should have informed the court that Paul was found not guilty. Yes. And then he did have a copy of the expungement order that had been issued. Ouch. Now, I included that in today's email. That as soon as it was not guilty... Mm -hmm. Uh, the arrest and the court record was expunged on Guam. There was no reason for you to have issued that protection order. Now, there, there seems to be some conspiracy. Yes. As in, we're going to abuse uh, children. Yes. We're going to refuse to enforce the actual rights of citizens. Right. And then you're going to obstruct me for uh, from being able to sue you. Yes. Now... Of the public defenders that I've had on Guam, yes, maybe Richard Dirks remembers. I did seven hours of parenting classes at Erica's house, yes, and they made arrangements for me to be able to leave. Right. Then maybe Stan Myers remembers mm -hmm. that, uh, well, Paul was found not guilty, and the court should have immediately removed the protection order because there was no jurisdiction to issue it considering I was on trial. Mm. And since you didn't give me any due process in 2011, you have effectively, yes, held my sons hostage since, well, over eight years now. Now, you, you want to explain why you're doing this? What is it that you don't understand? Huh? I've had four different public defenders defend me. Yes. The arrest on Guam. Mm-hmm. Never convicted of a crime. Pooch. My wife abducted my sons the same day that I went to jail. Mm -hmm. I get here. Mm -hmm. I call healthy families. They decide that they're going to motion the court for a dissolution of marriage before calling the police. If I really was a domestic abuser and a child abuser, mm -hmm. they would have called that day. Yes, the police would have been in the parking lot that day. There would have been no time to motion the court for a dissolution of marriage because they would have had me on trial for... Oh, you're absolutely sure that you're not committing domestic... Well, um, I just want you to understand something. Yes. I just informed you of numerous crimes. Yes. One of them is the false accusation of attempting to contact the party. Yeah through a third party known as Healthy Families of Clown County. The other is the intentional filing of a, a dissolution of marriage, yes, with the intention of having a person arrested after you filed it. <clears throat> and then there's this whole idea of holding children hostage, right, because the, ch the state doesn't want to enforce the laws. <laughs> now, I'm wanting you to do what the law requires, mm -hmm. and you don't want to do that? 